Humanitarian agencies are warning that more than 2.5 million people are facing food insecurity in South Sudan since a civil conflict broke out in December 2013. VOA's Gabe Jocelyn, reporting from opposition-held territory, explains why a crisis in the making often does not look like one until it is too late. When all other options are exhausted, People here in Lankian, South Sudan, strip leaves from the trees as their last resort for food. Poor harvests, conflict and constraints on trade have pushed this area into what humanitarian agencies have classified as a level three food crisis, two steps below famine. <laughs> Nabi El Mashar says she and her family are running out of supplies and have no income for food. <laughs> There's no employment here and no money. We get very little support, so I will survive on what I can get from the forest, wild fruits and leaves. Lenkian is in the heartland of the opposition, where mostly ethnic Nuer rebel soldiers have taken up arms against the government of President Salva Kiir. Because the area is surrounded by government forces, the town is becoming increasingly isolated. This market is usually the center of activity in Lankian, but since the current conflict has shut down the surrounding roads, there's only one trade route coming in from Ethiopia. So the limited amount of supplies are really jacking up the prices of commodities here and putting the pressure on the local community. While the stress is severe here, it may not seem as apparent as in other parts of the country that are closer to famine. The local humanitarian coordinator for the county, War Biel Pam, says to the outsider, this place may not seem like it is food insecure, but look closer. If you could come before crisis, uh, the market was so big. A lot of food, a lot of, of uh, commodities. But nowadays, there's not enough food. Uh, people are many, you can see many people are moving around, uh, densely populated in this area, and the food is not enough. United Nations airdrops and the distribution of basic dry foods have helped stave off a much worse crisis. But the deliveries are not always on schedule, and stocks from the last drop are already running low. Humanitarian groups are considering ways to better support the population during the coming rainy season, according to Alberto uh, so Macher of Oxfam. If not food, food, direct food distribution or whatever support we are giving, then it will mean other intervention like cash maybe giving to traders to make sure that they buy a lot of this good during dry season and during wet season there will still be a lot of goods in the in the market for people to access rains are not expected until may which means as food supplies dry up and conflict blocks access and movement people here are going to have to dig deep and keep doing whatever it takes to survive gabe josselo voa news Lankian, South Sudan.